Hey guys, um, happy Wednesday, I think it is, the 1st of April. No, this is not an April Fool's, um, although maybe we could consider it that. Um, no, today we are going to talk about the idea that what you focus on is what you get. And um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to talk about how you focus on is what is is what you what you actually get, whether that's in life, um, in a moment, um, in general, whatever it is. And I'll be giving you some examples. So yesterday when I posted the video, I think it was yesterday, um, I forgot, I realized later that we didn't do any breathing or grounding and um, I, I slid into a moment of self-judgment and then I slid back out of it and said, well, you know, these guys know what they're doing. So um, they can breathe, they can, they, can, they can do the grounding. They know to use to drop into their five senses and hopefully um, some of you guys at least are, are using the five sense drop in to stay present when you get anxious, when you find yourself, you know, projecting out into the future and getting anxious or um, feeling bad about anything that's happened in the past, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and skip the deep breathing, but I'm going to remind you that it's there. And I'm going to remind you that the grounding's there and, um, the square breathing in particular, where you imagine a square and you inhale for four, hold for four, exhale for four, inhale for four. And you just keep doing that for a while, for as long as it's comfortable, for as long as it feels good, or maybe past the time that it feels uncomfortable to touch on what the last video is about finding comfort in the uncomfortable space, wherever you can. Um, and in a way, what we're going to talk about today is a lot like that. So I'm going to start with another meditation story from this morning, which is what inspired this uh, particular topic. And that is that this morning, as I sat down to meditate again, my fabulous oversized puppy, Ollie, uh, immediately started into playtime. I mean, he did uh, puppy play pose and had his tail wagging and was starting to whelp bark and was getting all excited. So I thought, okay, let's, we've learned something here. Let's do something different. So I got his Kong and I put a couple of treats inside his Kong and then I filled the rest of it up with peanut butter and I made him sit and then I gave it to him. And then I congratulated myself for being so incredibly smart always dangerous. Every time I do that, something goes wrong, right? So I sat down on my little pillows and I settled in to have a nice meditation with Ollie entertained so that he wouldn't be giving me new uh, marks <laughs> or just in general trying to distract me. And as I started to focus, and, and I um, generally, one of the ways that I meditate, and I, I use different techniques, but one of the, the ways that I do a lot is I focus on something that I barely touched on, but did mention in an earlier video called the nada, which is the internal sound. Western medicine has labeled it tinnitus, um, but, and there can be tinnitus if you've been through something that's damaged your ears, but most of us that sound is the sound of our own internal vibration, okay? And that's generally what I tune into. I tune into it to go to sleep. I tune into it when I'm meditating. I tune into it some, you know, when I need to relax. I try to stay in tune with it and, and touch, in, touch in with it, much like dropping into your senses um, all day long. I try to remember to, to stay in touch with it. Here it's sort of like as background noise that I know is there. <clears throat> anyway, so I started to do that. And then I noted... That Ollie, who was laying, you know, just in front of me, but then to the side of it, was making a lovely licking and slurping sound with the Kong that I had just given him. So he was sucking that peanut butter out and he was giving it all he had. So it was making the most <laughs> disgusting and annoying sound you can imagine. Other than the one he was making the other day, which was when he was biting his toenails and he was slurping and clicking on his, on his toenails that I still need to figure out how to cut. Anyway, so he was making this highly disturbing and distracting sound. And I sat there thinking, really? Oh, come on. And I found myself getting irritated. And then my, I found myself getting frustrated for being irritated, right? 
And then I thought, okay, I'm just going to focus on that sound and I'm just going to be irritated for a minute and I'm just going to let me be irritated. <clears throat> and then as I began to focus on that irritating sound, I realized there were a couple of other sounds. One, there was my nada, which was still, still there waiting to be accessed. And then the door had been left open when Ollie had come in from the outside and it's not a very chilly day today. So I had left the door open to get a little fresh air in the house and I could hear the creek rushing in the distance. So I thought, ah, I can, I can focus on the creek. If I can't, if I'm having trouble focusing on the nada and the sound that's right by me is making me a little nuts, I can focus on the creek. And I had had a similar experience before, right? <clears throat> I had been in a yoga class with um, a teacher at Wild Lotus in New Orleans, a guy named Zach, who is also a wonderful musician amongst many other talents that he has. And he had, he, he will gong a lot of times at the end of uh, a class. And it's something that I absolutely adore. I love lying on a yoga mat after a good yoga class and, and hearing the gong and allowing that to like wash through me and, you know, sort of wash anything that's left that's extraneous that I don't need away. So I was super excited and I had spent the entire yoga class looking so forward to uh, the gonging session at the end of it. So we're all lying there on our mats and everybody's gotten comfortable and the gonging starts and I notice tick, 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 tick. Somehow or another, the woman lying immediately next to me, and this was before social distancing, guys, so she was literally like, I could have reached out and held her hand, okay, without any real effort on my part. She's wearing a ticking, an old-fashioned ticking watch. Oh my gosh. That, I, and I sat there and thought, oh my God. I, 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 and I was horribly irritated and I was irritated at the woman. I was mad that she'd been able to find some old fashioned watch and I couldn't believe it. And I mean, the thoughts that went through my head were terrible. So, and it's certainly not helpful or relaxing. And then I realized that I had, as I had focused on the ticking of that watch, I had entirely lost the fact that there was a gong going on as well, right? I, I, it, as if I could not even hear the gong, all I could hear was the ticking of the watch. And so in that moment, it occurred to me, what if I focus on the gong instead of the ticking that's right next to me? What'll happen? And I noticed that as I focused on the gong instead of the ticking, I heard the gong and not the ticking. The ticking would fade away almost to the point where I couldn't hear it. And then I decided to sort of play with it a little bit because play is always a good thing to do, right? So I refocused on the ticking of the watch and I could hear that and then the gong began to fade. And then I went back and I focused on the gong and I uh, lost the ticking. So that happened again today, right? I realized that if I focused on the slurping sound that the dog was making with the Kong, I got irritated, I got frustrated, and that's all I could really hear, even though there were other things for me to hear. So then I began to put out my sense of, of hearing to listen, what else can I hear? Not only could I hear my own internal vibration, I could hear the creek rushing by outside. I could hear the bloodhounds half a block away baying as they do. I could hear other dogs answering their call back and forth. I could hear the wind. I could, there was all kinds of things that I could hear. Or I could choose to focus on the slurping sound that was driving me nuts, right? And that is really, that, I mean, it's nothing more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? So I seem to be having trouble finding words these days. Um, nothing more profound than that. It's that simple a story and it's that simple a thing. What you focus on is what you get. If you focus on the thing that irritates you, you're going to get irritated and you're going to be with that thing. If you focus on something else, you're going to have that. And it's, you know, there's lots of different ways of looking at this. I know one of the um, stories that gets told is about that, you know, there's two wolves, the black wolf and the white wolf, and which one um, survives, it's the one you feed, right? That's the one you give your attention to. 
and it appears that my video has yet again frozen. And so I'm not going to focus on that. <laughs> I'm going to focus on the fact that this is still recording my voice and I'm going to wrap it up and tell you, thank you again for listening. And if you have any questions, please feel free. And remember that what you focus on is what you get. Thanks and have a great day, guys. Bye.